Today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, we're going to get a look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 2.2.1. The object selection brush now has a hover display, which is really nice. We're going to get a look at that and also a plug-in fix. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'm wishing everyone out there a happy new year. This update video is coming out a little bit late for me due to the holidays. I wasn't able to get it out when I wanted to. But this is the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This update came out on the 21st of December, and this is version 2.2.1. On the screen right now, you can see the changes in this latest update, version 2.2.1. They've added a hover display to the object selection brush, which I'll show that to you. They've also fixed a color shift on Pro Photo images and plugins. In other words, if you use Photoshop and send your image into Topaz Photo AI and it is in the uh, Pro Photo color space, when you send it into Photo AI, the colors were off. That's fixed, and I'll show you that is fixed. They've also fixed intermittent crashing with cropping. The first thing I want to show you is the fix as a plugin when using ProPhoto in a product, say like Photoshop. In the upper right hand corner, you can see what this image looks like in Photoshop. And then the main image shows you Topaz Photo AI version 2.2.1 with the ProPhoto fix. As you can see now, there is no color shifting whatsoever. Now you're seeing version 2.2.0 with the ProPhoto problem. This is the image sent from Photoshop in to Topaz Photo AI, and it looks like this as compared to this image, which is what it should look like right out of Photoshop. And now, as you can see with this fix, they both look the same. Now let's take a look at this new hover feature they added to the object selection brush. It's pretty cool. This is a stock image, by the way. Now what we need to do to activate this hover feature for the object selection brush is come up and either click on subject or we could come here in the sharpening module and click on select subject. So either way, click here or come up here and click. I'll just go ahead and click select subject. And you'll notice by default, I have none selected and I've set that up from the preferences. And to get to your preferences, you could come here to the three dots and click and go to autopilot preferences by clicking here and you could set that up. But for me, I like to start out with none. Now, if you click on default, you'll find the subject of the image or you could choose the background, portrait, landscape, sky, or none. Again, mine is set for none. And then you have a feathering adjustment here. You can reset the mask by clicking this button. And then you have brush types. Now this is a drop down menu. Right now it's set up for the object selection brush. And if you click right here, you'll notice you have a super pixel brush and that's like an AI brush. You have a regular brush, just a regular old brush that you can brush on with a masking brush. And then of course the object selection brush, which is what I wanna show you today. And you have add and subtract, and you can use your X key as a shortcut to switch between subtract and add. And then when you're done, you would just click apply. Now, this subject is dealing with the sharpening of the image, by the way. Now, let's say I only wanted to sharpen the two cookies and the flowers and the little petals, and I didn't want to sharpen anything else. This is where the object selection brush can come in really handy just for selective sharpening. Now let's check out this new hover feature. Now I am on the object selection brush and notice for my cursor, I do have a crosshatch. So what we need to do is take that crosshatch and hover it over anything we want. Like for instance, this teapot here, right? Over any area and see what it finds. In that case, it found the entire teapot. Let's hover over this cookie and it finds the cookie, and then you just left click it. Let me hover over this cookie, left click, and we select it. Uh, here's this flower I want it. I'm gonna left click it, go to this flower and left click it, and let me go over these different petals. Just hover over them. As soon as they turn red, give it a left click. This petal, left click. Go over this petal, left click it. This one, left click, selects it. Go over this one, left click it to select it, and over this one, Whoops, I went into the background, left click, and I got that pedal. Now I have everything that I want. So what we can do is click apply. Now, if you want to remove something, just change this over to subtract, hover over, like say this flower here. Let me click on subtract and click on this flower right here. And now you'll notice 
it is removed, okay? I'll type my X key to go back to add and hover over this flower, left click and select it back. And now all we need to do is click apply to apply that mask. And now you'll notice it says it is sharpening the subject. Now this is very important. Make sure you have this toggled on for subject only or it will sharpen the entire image. And in my case, I just want to do selective sharpening of the cookies and the flower petals. And right now my strength is right here at 50. I'm going to go ahead and really take this to the right so you can really see it here. And now, as you can see, by utilizing that object selection brush and that new hover mode, which I really enjoy, I was able to selectively sharpen the two cookies, the flowers, as well as the flower petals. So I really enjoy the new object selection brush with the hover feature. And let me know what you think about this new feature. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. I really want to hear from you. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's first look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI version 2.2.1. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.